All right, guys, so let's talk about this ShopRider XLR14. I'm gonna install uh, a slim, a slim, a limb support or stump support on this unit. So this right here is gonna be your stump support right here. And the way this fits, you wanna make sure that it fits as flush as possible to the to the seat base or to the cushion right here. I mean, you are you, you are able to bring it out a little bit depending on on how on the length. Um, but typically, you want it kind of close to that to where the leg is not hanging down or it's not over. Um, so the way you mount this is on this shop rider. If you notice, this right here is going to be your mounting bracket. Typically, these right here are your uh, EOLRs that you hook up to. Now, I believe they're right and left and i don't think they're interchangeable so i mean you can't you know if you do this number it's going to be too close so right underneath here hopefully you guys can see that is where that mounting bracket for the for the elr is so you you do have adjustment there as well you could bring it all the way in or all the way out and then just tighten that up but anyways so the way you hook this up is you're gonna need an allen key for this right here for this flange bolt and I believe it's going to be a number three so let's try that we're going to take this one off completely make sure it's off there we go perfect so once you have that off you're going to mount this on this mounting bracket looks like I might have to loosen that one up too so let's loosen that up. I don't think you should take it all the way off, but just loose enough to where it opens up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. So once you have that, you're going to bring it as high as possible. I have this other bolt in my mouth, so let me go ahead and bring this other flange bolt in here and tighten that up. Now you are gonna need a couple of spacers that are gonna go in between that mounting bracket, this right here, because it is too, uh, the bracket is too wide. So this is gonna come with a couple of spacers and these spacers just fit in between, just like that. And then you get your other one, kind of roll it over pop that one in there and make sure they're even so now that they're even you're going to get your number three and you're going to tighten it up not too tight but just enough to where you could make adjustments so that should be good okay perfect so once you do that you're going to bring it up and then of course down here you have your adjustments to bring this a little bit higher just like that now you don't want it too high to where the leg is going to be kind of you kind of want it like a waterfall going straight down so once you do that, you're going to tighten up this flange bolt. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. Now from here, like I said, you could bring it out or bring it farther in. And then you do have adjustments right here. Okay. And then you have adjustments underneath here as well that you could adjust you could move the the whole stump to the right and left you could bring it down you could bring it up and then it does you're able to remove it as well this right here like to bring this higher you would have to take this right here which is a little bracket if you notice let me see if i can raise it up so you guys can see what i'm talking about but there's a little hole right here right in there if you twist this a little bit there's gonna be a silver pin right underneath here so this pin is what holds this from spinning so once you have it down and it goes into that hole it's going to stop spinning but if you need to bring this whole thing up then you're going to loosen this up this one has one flange bolt right here once you loosen that up you could bring this farther down and now it's going to be in a higher position so if you notice on the chair itself let me lower it so you can see what i'm talking about it's i mean you don't want it all the way up but just kind of like like i said you want to kind of come down like a waterfall but you can bring it up some more so let me show you let me wiggle this a little bit 
there we go so you see how it's a little bit higher now so you would bring this bracket down match up the pin to the hole and that's going to prevent this from spinning around and that's how you also remove it just lifting it up but that's how you attach a, a stump support limb support on a shop rider xlr 14 and you do have the right and the left and then of course you know if they have prosthetics they could use the foot plate and take this off completely so hopefully that helps you guys um pretty simple pretty basic but at least you guys have a a concept of it so hopefully that helps all right man